going on everybody brandon with jarhead diagnostics have you wanted to know how to do a relative compression on an oscilloscope stay tuned let me help you guys out the first thing you want to do is make sure that you get the vehicle disabled from starting you want it to be able to crank but not start so for this vehicle we some vehicles have a clear flood not this guy next hook up your scope for this one we're going to be using the pico scope we're going to be using our high amp clamp and then we're also going to be syncing off of cylinder number two for your cylinder sync whenever you do relative compression it's always good to do a cylinder sync in case you do have an issue you can figure out which cylinder is having the malfunction we got our high amp clamp hooked up we've got our cylinder sync on cylinder two for your high amp clamp whenever you're doing it you want the main power feed that goes all the way down to the starter whenever you're using the high amp clamp there are other ways to do it but for this one high amp clamp all the way down to the starter all right so on the pico so for here we've got our bnc plus high amp clamp and a channel one and an auto generated for us for the ignition sink we went ahead and set this to one volt and we got it plugged in up there on our boom all the way across then you also want to set your time base to one second per division this is for pico there's many ways to do it but this is how we're going to do it one second per division now that you're in the vehicle you want to turn the engine over. You want to turn it over for at least about 10 seconds to give it time to stabilize. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. After you get done doing the attempted start for 10 seconds and stop your scope, you should have a screen like this. As you can see right here, this is my sink. And like I said, my sink's on cylinder two. So from here to here is 720 degrees for this vehicle. And as you can see, it's a five cylinder. We got one two, three, this little piggy went to the market, five. So this vehicle does have a dead cylinder and this is a failed engine. It's not one that we set up for this demonstration, but I wanted to use this vehicle because I felt like it'd be good for this demonstration. Then if you really wanted to, you could zoom in. And then now from here, you've got your one, two, three, piggy went to the market, five. All the way across, repetitive. All right, now that the relative compression is done, we know for a fact that we have a low cylinder. No reason to pull out uh, gauges, no reason to go any further in our diagnostic process for misfire minus figuring out what's causing the cylinder to be low. Is it cylinder wash? Is it a mechanical failure? That you could go on to following steps. This vehicle we've already diagnosed, it does have a mechanical failure we're done with it it's going to need an engine there's we wouldn't do any type of repairs not with the age of the vehicle with the amount of miles so quick simple down and dirty you'd be in and out with a vehicle in less than two or three minutes from setup to figuring out that you've got a mechanical issue thank you guys like i said it's very simple get your scope out and always remember did you die today bro